not looking rosy for new teachers. Oklahoma City Public Schools announced yesterday they have notified 300 first-year teachers their contracts may not be renewed. And in Tulsa, nearly 300 have already been told their contracts will not be renewed. The cuts are a result of shortfalls in the state's budget, and we spoke to a college student who's getting an education degree. She says despite the news, she's still optimistic. With hard work and making connections through schools, through field experience, and through different teachers, um, I think that, I mean, eventually I will be able to get a job. Education officials tell us a lot of students are going on getting their master's degrees with hoping the market will turn around by the time they get out of higher ed classes. Joining me now is Beth Adele, the Director of Career Services at UCO. We're glad you're here. Thank you. My pleasure. This is a timely topic. Mm -hmm. You know, we've heard from teachers. Tell us about the job market as a whole in Oklahoma. Well, fortunately, we're still ranked number six, according to April's Bureau of Labor Statistics, and in, in the best job market in the nation. So our unemployment rate is still sitting at only 6.6%, and here in the Oklahoma City metro area, it's just 6.1%. There are jobs out there. But what we have to start doing, and our, our graduates have to start doing, being more deliberate in their job search. Tell us about that. You've got some tips, I know, for those coming out of school. It's great there's some optimistic news, but what tools do they need to make it happen? Well, long gone are the days that you cast an open net into the job field of sending out multiple resumes all over the place. But we have to be more deliberate and research-oriented. So we need to begin with knowing our assets, our values, what we're really looking for, and then going and researching the companies that have job openings out there and tailoring all of our job application tools such as our cover letters, our resumes, our reference lists to let the employers know we're not just looking for a job, we're looking to work at that specific company. Yeah, very customized. Very. And that'll help you rise to the top of the list I would think. Absolutely. What if you're interested in a company and they don't have an opening? Is it worthwhile being in touch with them, introducing yourself to them? Absolutely. It's still worthwhile to go to the career fairs, start networking with all these organizations. For instance, our large organizations with headquarters here in Oklahoma City metro area are always hiring and it might not have an opening in your major or your expertise area at that time but there will be in the future our larger companies will always have turnover we will have retirees we will need to fill those positions and you need to know those technological skills that you have that you can apply to that workplace and all we need to do is make sure that you make those connections follow up with those people and build that relationship for the future. And what about that master's? I find that interesting. Mm -hmm. Teachers are doing that. What are your thoughts on considering higher education right now? Make sure you're looking again at those occupations that you are targeting. So if you see the job description say bachelor's required, master's preferred, it may behoo behoove you to go ahead and get that master's degree. If not, maybe we need to, go, need to go a different route, especially for our teachers, to substitute teach. Take those one-year temporary contracts. Maybe you need to work in an area that isn't ideal in terms of a different district so that you can get that expertise and look for that experience. Valuable information, especially now. Thank, Thank you, Ms. Adele, for being here. For more on those proposed teacher layoffs, additional information on your job hunt, click on news9.com.